production of Applause on IdeaStream Public Media is made possible by the John P. Murphy Foundation, the Coolest Foundation, and by Cuyahoga County residents through Cuyahoga Arts and Culture. Coming up, see 100 years of collecting at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Meet a Medina student paying tribute to hometown veterans. Hear how the Daz Band recruited a Northeast Ohio native into their musical mix. And enjoy an artist making whimsical ceramics. Hello, I'm IdeaStream Public Media's David C. Barnett. Welcome to Northeast Ohio's arts and culture show, Applause. Alvin Frazier grew up in the Northeast Ohio community of Collinwood, listening to Cleveland Grammy winners, The Daz Band. Recently, thanks to Instagram, this multi-talented artist got recruited to join the band as its bass player. But before he ever let it whip with The Daz, Frazier was a respected R&B vocalist in Northeast Ohio. Recently, he joined me for IdeaStream Public Media's Applause Performances. Your parents were kind of musical influences for you, as I understand it. Alvin yes. and Dorothy, the major part of your... And for, starting off with your dad, he was a performer. You call him a harmony king. Tell us about that. Yeah, so my dad, you know, had a group in the mid to late 70s. They were called the Metrics here in town. And uh, they were a five-man group, you know, like kind of like in the line of the Temptations. My dad loved the Temps. And uh, they would come over to the house and rehearse in our living room, so... What they wow. would do is they would come in, stand in a circle. My dad would set the key and they would all kind of go into their different harmonies, man. And they would sound amazing. So mm -hmm. me being a little kid, of course, I'm like two years old, kind of in a way. So I'm, you know, looking up in the circle, standing up, you know, kind of in amazement of everybody. And, you know, naturally, you know, you emulate your father. So yep. me wanting to be like my dad, you know, I wanted to sing too. So... One morning, I'm in my room, and I'm singing, and my mom hears me, and she goes and gets my dad, and they discover that I can hold a tune. So, of course, you know, my dad's super excited about that. Immediately, he wants to start showing me how to do harmony. You know, I'm, I'm just barely able to talk, you know, pretty good, but my dad was so excited about that. He started showing me harmony, and he was really good at that. From the moment I saw you... Just couldn't take my eyes off of you. I guess I was caught up. I find sexy thing. I ain't ashamed to admit it. I had to get to know ya. Your energy was drawing me like a train and pulling me close. And wouldn't let go. Oh, it's like that. We're up against the wall, loving in the hall, holding on with all of might. That's right. Nothing about tomorrow can your body a borrow because we've only got tonight don't fight i'm feeling what you're feeling tensions up to the ceiling i feel this thing's about to ignite take flight don't know back for one minute this may not be extended because you talk about your mom being kind of the sort of the dis early discoverer of this talented young man she's also kind of have a kind of feels like she's kind of a manager figure she's like your biggest fan but also she's your biggest critic talk about absolutely her. so my mom uh, was a straight shooter. She Ooh. did not, you know, kind of panic kick you. It was like, no, nah. it was like, hey, if, if it sounded bad, she said, no, nah, that, ain't, that ain't hitting on nothing now. And if Ooh. it sounded good, she would say, I like that out. So my mom was real balanced, and she helped me okay. to be really balanced by telling me the truth, not sent me out into the world misinformed, like thinking I'm better than I am if I'm not any good. She was really good about giving me that balance. When you're in love... With someone, the world doesn't look quite the same. And in your heart, there's a fire that burns like an eternal flame. There are times when your mind can conceive all the wonders of love life can bring. Someone who can set me free And 
then I know what they're saying. Oh, it's more than just make believe. And you talk about chasing dreams as being sort of like being a daredevil. Is that sort of what you're talking about? You can't pursue your dreams playing it safe. It's just yep. no way to do it. There's no real success in playing it safe. You got to be a person who's willing to take risks. And like I said, like you mentioned, Dave, is being a daredevil. You literally kind of running and jumping from one thing, climb up on that and look over, run and jump onto the next thing. You know, that's kind of how you have to do it. so beautiful that I can't help but smile so tell me how life's treated you ooh since we've been apart baby I guess what I'm trying to say girl there's someone at your heart see so she can go on and on about a man that she's seeing and all of their future plans but I tuned in all out cause I'm thinking about love that we share and all of those late nights and early mornings when we were together and so in love and I still remember how it feels to be lost inside of your love baby lost in your love so deep that I can't find my way out I don't want to go I don't want to leave it rapture tight of your you, um, as a kid, were a big fan of a group called the Dad's Band. It used to be called the Kinsman Dad's Band way early. Little did you know that your life would circle around and hit those people again. And it happened through Instagram. Talk about that. How did that even happen? Man, so, you know, on Instagram, you know, a lot of people are doing bass videos. Like, that's really, like, the, the hot thing, you know. Yep. people uh, It's trending. So people do bass videos where they play bass guitar up against different records, you know, and a lot of it is kind of funk, you know, a lot of slap. And I'm like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one of my favorite songs, which was Gamble With My Love by the Daz Band. Mm -hmm. I said, man, there's something about that ballad that I just love it. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a bass video for that particular tune. So I recorded the whole song like I would do all of them, but I would only put 30 seconds. I put 30 seconds up up on uh, Instagram kind of for people just to enjoy the song like if you haven't heard it before this is a great tune by the dash check it out so maybe a few days later after I posted the video I woke up to a notification that the dads had mentioned me in a comment I said the dads you know, I didn't even know they had an Instagram account so I look and I see that they had reposted the video of me playing gamble and then they also put it in their story so you know I'm like oh that's cool you know I'm like oh the dads bands you know saw my video i never intended for them to see it and a few weeks later um man management reached out um to send me a, a inbox on instagram basically saying you know to give them a call you know which is uh, our manager gina and uh the founder bobby harris like give us a call like to have a conversation with you about a possible you know opportunity it took maybe three conversations. They didn't know this, but it was like three conversations before it really was like, okay, this is really about to happen. You know, like this is really, really moving forward, you know. And here we are. I'm touring with them and we're working on new music and getting ready for celebrate the 40th anniversary of Let It Whip next year. So we got quite a few things planned around that. It's like a dream, man. It's like a dream being there. As the sun begins to rise, I look over into your eyes and I'm thinking it's amazing that you're my lady. Alvin Fraser's new album is River. To see the full applause performance, visit arts.ideastream.org. 